ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इंसर्ट द ग्रेड विद इन द्लॉट्स आर ग्राफ्स ऑफ द पाइथन द कंपाइलर वी आर यूजिंग इज द पाइचाम कंपाइलर सो इन ऑर्डर टू इंसर्ट ए ग्रेड विद इन द ग्राफ और प्लॉट वी नीड फर्स्ट टू मेक ए ग्राफ एंड देन वी विल ट्राई टू इंसर्ट सर्टन uh type of grades in it okay so first we will import a library that is called as the mate plot sorry mate plot lib dot py plot is now we can write mlt okay now this is our main library or what's called is the module which will which is having one object that is called as the mlt mlt is just like a, a messenger through which we can access this whole library okay as mlt means that because its name is uh, huge so that is why we just need to what's called as the create an object and then we will call all this module in our program the second library is import numpy is an mpi okay numpy is the second library and one more thing that before writing these lines you have to go to file go to new project setup and settings for new projects you need to click on project python interpreter and then click on this plus sign and here you need to install py numpy and here you can see that i have installed but you need to install it and after numpy you need to install mate plot lib okay mate plot lib okay as i have already installed so need no need to install it again after this is done we will uh, create two uh, numpy arrays so we will go for nmpi dot array like this and this okay so and y is equal to nmpi nmpi dot array so okay now you can see that within these round brackets we have inserted these two double brackets not double these are the square brackets and why we uh, need to insert them because it it is used to represent a specific data type that is called as the lists okay list data types so whatsoever we will insert them array function will take them will convert them into numpy arrays okay will convert them into numpy arrays and then will pass them to x and y variables so we can write like a 12 comma 13 comma 15 comma 19 okay these are our four points we can write 24 32 and then like a 41 and like a 46 just random four four points okay then this uh, array function will convert them to what's called is the numpy array and will store them inside this x variable and same for the y now we will call our what's called as mlt by plot uh mate plot function mlt dot plot uh, x comma y okay and plot function will uh make a plot of x and y a as you have learned in your classes in your secondary classes that graph will be made in such a way that one one is point for x axis and one is point for y axis so 12 comma 24 and 13 comma 32 just like here x is 15 and y is 41 and x is 19 and y is 46 so in this way it will form your plot so okay it is running okay it is process finished and can we yes we can show it out as well mlt dot show will show us the plot okay now you can see that this is our plot and with it is without grid so how we can do it uh, we can do it like a mlt dot grid okay mlt dot grid and simple grid will also is also going to work yeah 
yes you can see that we got our grid okay but we, 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 we can go for one more thing okay we can go for one more thing that is called as the color of the uh, grid color is equal to we will write red so it will be of red color these are the properties within these parameter brackets we are going to insert the properties for the grid and we will write line style is equal to dotted yes like this and line width line width is equal to uh, one okay one I think yeah, one is okay although one is so much but it's okay our grid will be more prominent now you can see that uh, we got our grid and we have changed its color we have changed its line width and line style okay can we go it for like uh, oh or like this wait let me try okay and oh no it's not going to work at all okay okay now we will go for this and this one this sign either it is going to work hopefully it will it will work no solid dash uh, dash dot okay we can write dash dot okay dash and dot here and we will see either it is going to work or not yes it is going to work okay so we can insert certain properties like red and then green if you want to change the color to green then we can do it like okay like this so hopefully you got the concept that how we can draw a grid for the plot or graph within the what's called is the PyCharm Python and how we can change its properties. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.